Welcome back to another episode of MotoGP Mac and today we're going to talk about Lucio Cecanello's strong words to Honda saying that he doesn't want Honda to leave the LCR team and that he will race with them and the story is closed. Now as we know Mac Marquez is leaving Repsol Honda and they are struggling to find a rider with the experience to drive on the team to help develop the bike for the future. We also do know that so Repsol Honda are interested in signing Miguel Oliveira or Maverick Vinales to take Mark's place, but I think that's highly unlikely to happen, especially this season. So what remains left for HRC to decide is between Fabio Di Giantonio and Iker Lacona. And both of them being very respectful They just don't have the experience to do what Honda need them to do in developing the bike. So even when I asked this a couple of days ago, it really does make sense to put Zarco on the Repsol Honda. However, Lucio Cecnello has taken a little bit of exception to this and said that Zarco has signed a contract with HRC and LCR and he will race with LCR next season he said for me this is the end of the story and i tend to believe (laughs) checking out on this if i'm very honest and you know one of the things i'm really really aware of and conscious of is that honda really cannot piss off checking their contract is up at the end of the 2024 season and there's other manufacturers willing to throw bikes and money at them to run their bikes so honda if they're not careful and piss checking off could end up in the same position that yamaha found themselves for these two years with two bikes on the grid so i think it'll be very interesting to see what exactly is going to happen here because if you do look at it honda are kind of stuck i think they're going to have to pay for a big name for 2024 what big name is that going to be? Or, you know, are they going to risk pissing off Cecanello to say, yeah, well, look, we're taking him. We're going to give you Digi or we're going to give you Eker or or what? I don't think that really would go down too well. I think, you know, losing Rins because they wouldn't give him factory equipment. I think that was enough for, for Cecanello. And now if they... Cecanello went through all the trouble of getting Zarco over only for Honda to steal him. I think that would really be the nail in the coffin. But I would definitely love to know your thoughts. What do you think of the position that Honda are going to put LCR in? And do you think Cecanello is right to say no? Definitely leave your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another video.